Today I'm back in Jew in our new kitchen. We are making butternut squash bolognese with local beef. Yum. <laughs> This recipe is from our friends at Pomelo. They are a company based here in Seattle and their focus is on sustainability and promoting food education and food system education and fighting climate change through what you eat. So the first thing we need to do is peel this butternut squash. If you don't have a Y peeler yet, you should get one. Replace your peeler every couple of years if you can. Like the blade goes, especially when you're doing hard jobs like this. Hard, 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 hard job. So I just scooped out the middle and then we're gonna cube it. It's really heavy. Dakota may look strong, but it's just inflatable muscles. <laughs> Julie helps me pump them up every morning. Okay, drizzle with olive oil and then we're gonna sprinkle with a little salt and pepper and these are gonna go in the oven and roast at 400 degrees until they're fork tender. We are now going to prepare our carrots and celery and onion. This is also known as a mirepoix. Finely dice up about half a cup of celery, half a cup of carrots, and a full cup of onion. Mirepoix is chopped. Don't worry too much about it. Like if there's like this much of your carrot left and you're like, I know I'm over half a cup, or just eat it. Okay, so over here, I'm heating up a few tablespoons of olive oil in a big pot. Now, this recipe is really great because even though we're using beef in this recipe, you could use tempeh, which mm -hmm. is like another soy-based protein. So it's different from tofu in that it's not like smooth and silken. It's like has this kind of almost meaty ta taste and texture. So this is about a pound and a half of ground beef. And we are going to just kind of saute, stir it up um, until it's all nicely browned. Seasoned it with a little bit of salt and pepper, season as you go. We're just gonna transfer it into a bowl. That was good, thank you. Your blow up muscles are doing really well today. <laughs> Again, Dakota's just gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil and we are just going to kind of caramelize this until everything gets nice and soft and our onions are translucent. Mirepoix is softened and golden and brown. It smells delicious. We're going to add a beef back into the pan. And then we are going to add one cup of dry white wine. And this helps to deglaze the pan, which means that all the like crispy, golden, crunchy bits that are stuck to the bottom are now gonna be kind of reincorporated back into our meat vegetable mixture. And also it's just gonna, what? When you said in your paw like that, your, your voice never went back to normal. Me applause. So then we went and one. Welcome to my cooking show! <laughs> a cup of dry white wine into the pan. Our butternut squash is out of the oven and it's nice and soft. We actually checked it about halfway through and added a little bit of water to help it soften up even more. So mm -hmm. if you feel like it's getting soft but it's kind of dry, you can always add a couple tablespoons of water into your pan, put it back in the oven. So we scooped everything into our blender. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. I just think it's gonna need a little help. The blender needs even more help. And so we're gonna add a half a cup of our cream. Then we're gonna add our butternut squash puree into the ground beef and carrot onion celery mixture. And after Dakota is done doing that, we are going to add the remaining half a cup of cream to the pot as well. So now that all of our ingredients are incorporated together, we push it off to the side and now we're boiling our water for our pasta. And don't forget to salt your pasta water heavily. It should taste like the ocean. It should. All right, our noodles are cooked and when we were draining them, we saved all of the water mm -hmm. because the pasta water is a great cooking tool to help you like loosen and thicken up sauces. So we are gonna add some pasta water to our sauce because it's pretty thick right now. This is also really salty and it needed more salt anyway. So be careful, like make sure you taste it first before adding pasta water because you could easily make your stuff too salty. Mm -hmm. So we've plated our noodles with sauce. We just toss them together in the pot and then place them nicely in the bowl. That's for the ultimate sexiness. And Julie just shaved some 
salty cheese, you could use like pecorino romano, you could use parmesan, and then a little bit of freshly chopped parsley. Perfect bite with a lot of things on it. I'm not right-handed, that was really hard to try and handle. <laughs> Mm. The sweetness from the squash is really nice. It is. And I was kind of like skeptical about butternut squash and ground beef together, but mm -hmm. it's actually pretty complimentary. Yeah, it's like just like really savory and warming. It's like luscious, and then that fresh parsley makes it really fresh tasting. Mm -hmm. mm. The white wine mm -hmm. adds the best flavor mm -hmm. in this. Because unlike the traditional bolognese, you don't have the acidity from the tomato, and so you really need that from something. And in this case, it's from the wine. Mm. It just fit. In this case, we're looking for the pot. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.